Algebra 2 cram, New York State Algebra 2 your Regents, but no sweat. This is a common core cram session, so it's not limited to New York State. It can be used for any Algebra 2 course throughout the entire USA, and neither is it limited to America. It can be used for any Algebra 2 course throughout the world. So shout out to Cali, Canada, Florida, Texas, North Carolina, and even Jamaica. Thanks for viewing. Functions. Question six, composition of functions. F of G of five. You have lots of friends, classmates, pairs who are taking Algebra 2 with you. So tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com because I know you are going to as well so that you can order the complete Algebra 2 cram session. And if I could stick all you guys with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of your inner mathematical genius, I definitely would. So don't forget to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com and spread the word so that you and your friends can get the most out of your Algebra 2 experience. All right. Question six, evaluate the composition of functions. If f of x is equivalent to x squared minus 3x and g of x is equivalent to 2x minus 4, evaluate f of g of 5. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. To evaluate a function or functions, as is in the case here, um, means to substitute a given value for x. All right. The notation f of g of 5 um, basically is going to mean the same thing as this notation, f of g of 5. Okay, these two notation formats for a composition of functions are both read from left to right, but they're evaluated from right to left. The evaluation process is opposite of how standard English is read. Okay, and just in case you're wondering, like, what the heck is a composition of functions exactly? A composition of functions uses the output of one function as the input of another function, okay? So both of these composition notations basically mean that we're going to take a five and substitute it in for x here in the function g of x, and then we're going to take the result of g of five and plug it into the function f of x for x. And get a result. All right, so the first thing that we're obviously going to do is evaluate g of 5. So g of 5 is equivalent to 2 times 5 because we substituted 5 for x minus 4. And um, so 2 times 5 is 10 minus 4, that's going to be equivalent to 6. So g of 5 is equivalent to 6. Now what we're going to do is evaluate f of 6 um, because it's kind of redundant to write f of g of 5 when we already know that f um, of 6, well g of 5 is 6, so we can just substitute that in for this x placeholder, okay? So what we end up with is f of 6 or f of g of 5, but we're not being redundant, is equivalent to 6 squared minus 3 times 6. 6 squared is 36 minus 3 times 6 is 18, so we end up with 18 as our answer also. f of g of 5 is equivalent to 18.